this is Sally from Silhouette Studio Squad. I want to show you today how to create your own logo on uh, Silhouette Studio. You can do this for free. I have the business edition of the software, um, which it will tell you up here which edition you have. But you can do this on the um, on, on the basic edition that you can just download from silhouetteamerica.com so to get started all you need to do is uh, open up your software and I'll take you through how how I did my logo step by step and then you can have a little play and have a go at making your own so the first thing you need to do is go to your page setup and if you can see the grid on yours you need to turn off the grid and have a nice white background and then if you go over to your left hand text left click on there and type in what you need to type in and I'm going to do this as two separate entities so left click on there and if you go over to the right hand text icon and find the uh, font that you like, you can have a play around. This one I've used is called Loved by the King, which I think is very modern. And we're going to turn that pink, so the way you turn your text any colour is uh, go over to the fill colour and you can click on that pink. Now that's not quite the same pink. So what you can do to find the whole myriad of colours available is click advanced options here and play around and find your perfect pink okay and then it automatically sets it now you might want to do the same with the lines around the edge so you go to the line style which is just under the fill panel and you can either I think that just about does it actually but you, you've got the same options here you've got a uh, advanced options with the pink but I actually preferred it with the other one so I'm just going to take that back this back button here will save you lots and lots of uh, <laughs> heartache so you can never ever make a mistake on Silhouette Studio because you've always got the back button so there's the Silhouette Studio now for the squad which is just type it out as as you want. This is a font called Copper Plate. So now we can either scroll through and all of your fonts are on here. So there's Copper Plate. Or we could have typed it in here. And it would find it for us. So we're going to have that as a black word so there we have that and we could kind of try and make it more or less the same proportions so silhouette school squad now to get the um, the little dots here all I did used was a circle so if you come across to your drawing tools you go across and press the circle one and if you hold down your shift key and then left click and a drag it should make you a circle at the same proportions so if I did that without holding down my shift key it, it would do this okay this one 
is a perfect circle with same dimensions because I held down the shift key. I'm just going to left click that and delete to take that away. Now this is obviously going to be pink as well so we need to go across and click the advanced options now this is where I've made a little bit of a schoolboy error because I forgot to <laughs> uh, take note of the exact colour of the pink the way you can do that is highlight this and either write it down or right click and um, copy that and then paste it for if you need it again. Now I'm just going to make that, um, just make this a little bit bigger and make the dot a little bit smaller and then all I'm going to do to get exactly the same one at the other side is right click and duplicate which will take it over there or alternatively you could right click copy and then paste but duplicate is just kind of one one click less in your life so I'm going to highlight that get rid of it and put that one where where I like it so we're getting there with this so we're going to right click so so what I've done to highlight all that is left click drag over the whole thing, right click and group and that makes it one thing that we can uh, manipulate there. So the way we get the edge, so this kind of thing, is again, I'm just looking at that, I'm going to, just going to ungroup it and I'm going to bring that in a little bit like that, right, I'm happy with that ok, so left, drag over everything and group now I'd like a circle around there so again I'm going to come over to the drawing tool left click and hold down my shift key, hold down my left mouse and draw perfect circle, let go of everything, go back to the arrow and that's about right but if you wanted it a little bit bigger you could left click it and just drag it and it will drag out at the same proportions now obviously we don't want that to be red we want that to be pink so we're going to highlight the circle, which is actually a line. So we go across to the line, line style panel. And there are different styles here. So I've used this sec well, third one down, which turns it into dots. And then we can go up on the thickness. until well, we, can go, we can make it as chunky as we like so it's, a, it's about that isn't it the other ones you've got on here are a bit longer lines but I do like this one and then we're going to make it pink oh no we're not that's the fill let's go back we are I'm going to make it pink and again I should have taken note of the colour but it's there we go that's more or less what we wanted so there we go pretty professional looking logo in just a few minutes when you've got the hang of this software um, I think you'll be as addicted as, as I am. Now I'm going to do the same. So I've left, left click, drag over the whole thing, 
right click and group and there is your uh, your logo now what I'm just going to might not move now so if you have a look on my um, YouTube channel or my Facebook page you'll see I've got a white uh, background on there which is so simple to do because I've got the white uh, background on the software so I'm going to take a screenshot of this now so I'm going to press command shift and 4 at the same time and I'm on a Mac to do that and then I'm going to screenshot fairly squarely let go and that will save that screenshot onto my desktop so what I do now is shrink down the software go to PicMonkey and open new so you go to your computer it could be right at the bottom of your screenshots and it saved it we need to edit resize to a to a decent size really which is a thousand by a thousand and apply and we need to export that export to computer and that will pop it in a file sorry that will put it in your download folder and then you can I'm not going to save this one because I've already got one saved save it as something and then I have a logos um, folder that I save it in so that is how you can um, make your own logo easy if you have any questions really happy to help you out you can join our uh, Facebook group which is called Silhouette Studio Squad we have a group or a page that you can like and we would love it if you can subscribe and like away on um, on the videos I'll catch you next time bye